So uh, Frederick Douglass was uh, born into slavery in 1818. Uh, he spent his first the first 20 years of his life as a slave. And uh, in 1838, he escaped and uh, made his way up to Massachusetts, where he worked as a laborer for uh, a few years. And in 1841, he was uh, discovered by uh, the abolitionist leader, William Lloyd Garrison. And Douglass uh, gave a speech uh, in front of Garrison when they first met. And Garrison immediately knew he had a star on his hands and invited Douglas to join the abolitionist lecture circuit. And that began a 50 plus uh, year career as an, as an abolitionist orator and uh, orator on behalf of other progressive causes. And uh, Douglas, after leaving Garrison in Massachusetts in the late 1840s, began editing his own newspapers. Uh, and he did that for uh, quite a few years and eventually uh, served as a kind of informal advisor to President Lincoln. And after the Civil War, Douglas continued to write and speak uh, and also was appointed to a variety of uh, positions in Republican administrations uh, up until the late 1880s. So Douglas uh, literally agitated until the day he died. In February 20th, 1895, he spent the day at a women's rights convention and, um, and, uh, and died that evening, uh, so he was always engaged in a life of, of activism uh, on behalf of liberty.